Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Warriors have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few Ws, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Hawaii is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 23-yard line. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Throws it in a hurry. Run down in the open field. They complete that play-action pass. Good for seven yards. The play-action throws the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Nice play. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Sims picks him up six yards with a catch. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Slings it. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Tailback brought down for a loss. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. He fought. No, he faked it. He's taken down at the 41, and the defense comes through. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's at midfield. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. I'm a little surprised that they ran the option using the fullback, but he certainly made the most of his opportunity. From the 47-yard line, first down. Makes his way to about the 38. Hawaii's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Yeah, 
Not much on the option keeper, but it's good for a first down. Yeah, it didn't even look like he was thinking to pitch the ball. First and ten. Pitches back. Makes it out to about the 19. That's a team of 17. First down. First down. From the 19 yard line, it's first down. the corner inside the 10 touchdown Hawaii nobody picked up the running back on that option play the defense is so concerned about the quarterback's ability to create that they left the halfback all alone and once he took the pitch there wasn't anything between him and the goal line and he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 59-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Warriors are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick throw, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. That'll bring up third and long. it out this one will fall incomplete strong showing by the defense you always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can sparks back to return it sparks fields it at the 46 he gets out to about the 42 yard line So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Hawaii is up seven. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Sullivan the kind of player that keeps defensive coordinators up late at night, Herbie. I mean, if you load the box and take away the run, he's going to go up on top. If you sit back in the zone, he'll kill you with his legs. I mean, he's a great player. From the 42-yard line, second down. Taken down around the 31 yard line. First down. Here we go, D. And down he goes at the 32. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. And he's 
tackle after positive yardage. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Warriors lead 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. On the throw, incomplete pass. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Hawaii can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. And for Baylor, stubbornly keeping it on the ground and scoring a touchdown. Mitchell's knack for hitting the hole has been most beneficial as he's found the end zone. Baylor leads it 7-0 early in the first. All right, Reese, back to our game. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. That's a game of three. Right, 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 right. That'll yeah, make it second to seven. Mike five, Mike five. <laughs> Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. The tackle. Call the loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Third down. Down at the 45. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. And now he's got room to run. They'll bring him down at the 25 yard line. The halfback was able to do it there with his legs. This misdirection counter threw off the defense, and once this guy got into the open field, he was off to the races. Heading for the corner, and he tackles him hard at the 22-yard line. Outlaw gets three yards on the play. I'm telling you, every yard you gain is earned, and those were about as tough as they come. Got some open field. And that sets them up for the first and goal. This is the kind of steady, strong drive the coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. First down. Defense trying to hold their ground here. It's first and goal inside the five. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle at the one yard line. That brings up second and goal. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Licked his wrist and made the connection to his wide receiver. It looked to me that the defense was more worried about the quarterback scrambling, and that's why they just gave up that touchdown. The draw within a field goal. And he converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Mustangs come into today's game ranked 20th in the nation. The Mustangs go up top and strike first with a touchdown. SMU in front, 7-0. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. UNLV to kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's tackled the 33-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. 
Hawaii is up a field goal. Laterals back, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Second and 13. Ball on their own 30. And they hit him in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. to receive he fields a punt at the 20 tackle at the 29 yard line they ran the ball very well on their last drive and it resulted in six in the shotgun and five wide out goes down quickly. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball, I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. The Warriors lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. Quick throw, incomplete, one of those receiver. Number 86 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and three. Hearn to punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Hawaii's offense, Kurt, maybe not what we were expecting today, but boy, do they have it working on the ground. All week long, we came into this game thinking the quarterback would be the one to make all the plays, but right now it's been running the football, and it's working. Hawaii has a three-point lead. Finds his receiver who's all alone. First down. From the 41 yard line, first down. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled at about the 33 yard line. Hawaii's going to take their first time out of the half. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Gains his way to the 19 yard line. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. out here a huge play and now they're in a great position to score that makes it first, first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line and a nice move to finish it off touchdown Oh, that 
that's a great job and some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he adds the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Mustangs took the field ranked 20th in the nation. A lot of skepticism. They have to win impressively to hold their spot in the ranking. Let's take a look at this one again. And for SMU, a win today gives them nine wins on the season. The Mustangs are on top, 21 to 7. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Wood fields it at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Complete. He's got room. And they make the stop right around the 30. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Tackle made at the 42. Passes, and it's almost picked off. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. From their own 42-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Him hard the 42 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires out to his wide Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Warriors with a 10-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover march. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. With the best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sparks takes it at the 8. Brought down at the 29. So we're just about ready to return to action. He's 
going to try and scramble. Here he goes. Down the sideline. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. First down. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Four yards away here on second down. Heading for the corner. Touchdown, Hawaii! Well, a quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. This is a game we've been watching closely today. SMU in front, 24-14. Thanks, Reese. 24-7 in our game here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Warriors continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Third down. And he just gets rid of it. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Hearn awaits the snap. And he just got drilled. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Brought down at the 25. First and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Bring him down at the 15 yard line. Call the game at 10 yards. That brings up second and one. Right, 
And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of six on the play. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. The Rebels had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Touchdown, Warriors! as pretty an option play as you'll ever see. It took all fall practice for the quarterback and the halfback to get their timing down. But man, do they look good now. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with his update. Reese. The Mustangs arrive at today's game ranked 20th. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Mustangs relentless with their rushing attack and they score a touchdown. The Mustangs are on top, 38-14. All right, thanks, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. UNLV's getting stomped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency score and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points up. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Almost intercepted there. John was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. And he is drilled at the 46. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Aaron and Apple doesn't get there. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things, because that's when mistakes happen. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Check three, check three, check three. This is the Quick out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 38-yard line. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you gotta keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Five wide. They don't get it. 
Doesn't sound like much to complete a pass for three yards, but being in front of the end zone with points on the line makes it a much tougher proposition. Hearn gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26. Hawaii's offense has really been firing on all cylinders, especially here in the third quarter. Well, they got off to a good start, and they've been able to maintain that, maybe take it to a different level in the third quarter. It's going to require that for them to be able to get out of here with a win. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Young off the left side, and he's level at the 27. That's three down and one to go. Hawaii's up by 18. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. in and he's got a lane he's knocked out of bounds around the 49 yard line anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space we could be talking about six from their own 49 yard line down He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Makes it to the 37. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Ready! Red 85! Red 85! Hot! Hot! And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Pitches it inside the 10, and he will score. Just a great effort there. Once he had some space, it was off to the races. He makes the PAT. Ready to kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown. The other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 49. to the tailback and they make the stop at the 48 that's a that makes it 76 
tackle made right around the 40. Just under three to go in regulation. Here he goes. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. That makes it second and two. Of a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. The -yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Has it to the senior. Inside the 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. up a yard of anything on that run. There's a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. Touchdown, Rebels! That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. And he converts the extra point. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just under two to go in the game. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, second down. it out to about the 39. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up 36. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. all but wrapped up with the final score 38 20 warrior that's it for this presentation of ncaa football 14 for kirk Street, i'm brad nestler saying thanks and we'll see you soon